honest, we haven't really been looking at the score. You know, our, our main focus was, you know, trying to score as many runs as we can and treat every inning like it's still 0-0. You know, and that's kind of what keeps us in the game and keeps us locked in. So, uh, you know, if we start looking at the score, you know, we might slack off a little bit. But um, we just always try to treat every inning like it's 0-0. Take me to that third inning. What's that like as it's unfolding? Tough to say. What, what part do you want to? What part? Just, just the fact that you guys are able to put seven runs. Didi comes up with a big hit. Yeah, well, the Didi at bat, man. I, I think after he got that uh, that one base hit, you know, down the third base line, you know, we were all kind of in the dugout. Okay, that's he's gonna go on a roll here, you know. And, and then when he came up there with the bases loaded, you know, Delon Batanz was in the bench, and he said, hey, he's going grand salami right here. And a couple pitches in, he did it, man. It's just. Man, Didi's, you know, Didi's one of the leaders of this team, man. You know, no matter what, you know, the stats say, what people say, man, he's he's always going to be a leader. He's always going to come through in big situations when you need him, man. That's why that's why he's in this lineup. That's why he's in the postseason, man. He's a killer, and it's it's, it's showing right now. So, uh, no, that, that third inning, that was. I can't really describe. It. I'm trying to think of all those things that were going on, but just good at bat after good at bat. Aaron, how commanding the lead is two two nothing field right now. I don't know about commanding, but it's um, it's it's what we want to do. Like, like I said before, you know, game one was the most important, and then game two became the most important. But now game three, you know, going to you know Minnesota is going to be the most important, you know, match because they're gonna uh, they're gonna try to come out and, and come out and banging, you know, come out swinging, and I know their pitching staff is going to try to come after us. But we just got to stay composed and you know just keep the pedal to the metal. Aaron, can you talk about the Aaron? Can you talk about the thoroughness of this victory today with with guys clicking on all cylinders? Yeah, it's a postseason. Guys are going to step up. You know, like I said, guys are going to keep the next man up. Guys are going to keep stepping up. And um, well, the biggest thing I think of what I've noticed, you know, all the past two games is guys just doing their jobs. You know, guys, you know, our, our big mantra all year has been, you know, control the zone. And that's what um, I feel like guys have been doing every single at bat. doesn't matter who's who's up, what the situation is, guys on base, nobody on base. They're going to control the zone. And when they come in the zone, you know, guys do damage. So I think it's just been, you know, 25 guys doing their job. Is it when you've got a team on the ropes, how important is it to, to throw the knockout punch? That's huge. That's why going back to Didi's at bat, like that was the biggest at bat of the game. You know, getting that grand slam, getting those four runs, that kind of, you know, put it out of reach for them. And um, yeah, you got you got to have that one big blow. You know, I know in game one we had a couple situations with guys on base and we we're able to get you know, the guys on, like those guys in. But um, t and then tonight we were. Is it contagious through the lineup, just when you see the guys just rolling and it just seems to just trickle down? Yeah, you know, in all our meetings, you know, we just said, hey, everybody just do your job. That's it. You know, and lean on each other. You know, every time you get to stepping up to the plate, I mean, it's just not you in the box. You know, you got all of us, you know, on the bench, the stands, everybody's with you, you know. So just having that confidence that you got everybody behind you, it uh, makes makes your job a little easier. Eric, really big out of What's it like playing behind him and watching him do his thing in October? Uh, he's, he's an artist out there. You know, he's mixes his off speeds well. He sneaks the fastball in when he needs to. And any situation, I, I was, you know, happy to hear he was pitching game two. You know, especially here at home. He pitches well at home. And, um, you know, it's every postseason, you know, he always has a special game where he just, I think they had one hit for quite a while. And it's, it's impressive what he does in the postseason. Could you have asked for a better start to the series? I mean, offensively, defensively, and obviously the bats. No, it's, this is what we want to do. You know, we want to come out here and, you know, get guys on base and drive them in, and our pitching staff go out there and shut them down, and that's what we've accomplished so far. You know, it's still early in this series. You know, it's only, you know, two games out of the five, but um, just keep that rolling in the game three. So we're talking the about Didi, the fact that you were saying that what allows, what kind of guy is Didi that allows him, after having a tough season, a tough, you know, last week of games, not having a great game yesterday, do what he did today? No, I really wouldn't say tough season. You know, a guy just came off of Tommy John, you know, can barely throw, and, you know, he's, you know, came back early, and um, he's a grinder. You know, that's, that's how I've always seen him as a guy that just grinds out at bats, grinds out situations. If he's feeling good, not feeling good, he's going to go up there, and he's going to keep swinging the bat. And just get the job done. You know, that's what I've always noticed. You know, especially I look back to um, you know when we played the Dodgers. You know, facing Ryu, bases loaded, big situation. He just comes up there and swings it. And that's that's why he's one of the leaders of the team. That's why he plays shortstop. You know, and you know, especially I know his his situation. You know, coming in trying to fill the roles after Derek Jeter. That's that's a tough spot to be in. But he's he's overachieved. You know, what anybody I think ever thought of him. And I'm excited for him. You know, and you know, that's still early in the postseason. But uh, we're gonna see more. More special things out of Didi. What's the mindset of this team, Aaron, as you go to Minnesota with a chance to close it out? Stay focused. That's it. Just stay focused on the task ahead. You know, don't 
look at the next couple of games and look at the past couple of games just trying to focus on you know, what we got to do on Monday. That's it. Is it is surprising how quote unquote one sided this has been. I mean, this has been very, very two lopsided wins for you guys against that team. Well, it's just so tough in the postseason, you know, especially when a team has a big, anytime you get somebody on base, you know, I feel like you're going to score. And then, you know, especially when we put up, you know, seven in one inning, you know, it kind of deflates another team, you know. So it's, uh, I expect them to come out swinging, and I expect their uh, Oda Rizzi to come out, you know, and do his normal thing, you know, on Monday. So it's going to be, I'm looking forward to Monday. Aaron, you talked about uh, the hunger that comes from What about grinding out the bats like you guys have done the first two games? Yeah, that's, that's such a strength of this team is, you know, one through nine is going to most likely get to a 3-2 count, you know, every single time. They're going to foul off tough pitches, foul off tough pitches, and then if you ain't going to pitch to us, we'll, we'll take our walks, and that's what makes this team so special. No one's, no one's selfish. You know, everyone's, you know, next man up, and um, that's what makes this team so great because we get into that bullpen early, and when you're able to get to a bullpen early, and especially in a series like this, it, it, helps you not, it helps you out not only in that game, but, you know, the next couple games on the road. Aaron, you talked about the hunger that you felt from the past playoff failures. How does that mindset kind of manifest itself in terms of you consistently getting on base right now? You know, all I'm thinking about is, you know, all the missed opportunities from years past, you know, and I don't want that to happen again this year, you know, so I'm going to continue to do whatever I can. If it's, you know, take my walks when I can, drive the guys in when I can, I'm just going to keep doing whatever I can until, you know, it's, <laughs> we're done playing, you know, so I... We're hungry. You know, you guys are seeing it. You know, up and down the lineup, guys are hungry. Even new guys to this team, man. You know, you saw Cam come in, you know, steal a couple of bases for us the other night, and everybody's just clicking on all cylinders right now. Aaron, before the game, uh, Aaron Boone was talking about the, the walks and said how last year, late in the season, McCutcheon kind of made it into a little contest for you guys. Did, did he help you guys in that approach at all? McCutcheon? Yeah. Um, yeah, Kutch did a lot of great things over here, you know, especially being a leadoff hitter, you know, had some pop, but he's, he was another guy that fit right into this mold of, you know, working the count, and if it ain't in his zone, he ain't going to swing, you know, and, you know, you, we fed off that last year, and, you know, even this year, having DJ at the top of the lineup, a guy that's, you can't throw to the middle of the plate or else he's going to do damage, and, and, you know, we just, we just feed off each other this year, that's all we're doing.